today, I will show you how to build a loco net accessory controller, using an Arduino Nano, keypad, and a LCD display. I also used a loco net interface board, from Hans Tanner, to connect the controller to the loco net. I highly recommend you watch his video on the loco net interface. Links below. This is the schematic I used to connect all the hardware together. The white wire from the loco net interface connects to D7 of the Arduino, while the yellow wire connects to D8. SCL from the LCD display connects to pin A5 of the Arduino, and SDA connects to pin A4. Keypad column pin C3, C2, and C1 connect to Arduino pins D3, D4, and D5 respectively. Row pins R4, R3, R2, and R1 connect to pins D9, D10, D11, and D12. 5 volts and ground connect to the Arduino, LCD display, and loco net interface board. Next is the software for the Arduino. Four libraries need to be included for the program to operate. These may be downloaded by going to Sketch. Include library, manage library, and searching for the following. Wire.h Liquid crystal underscore I2C dot H Keypad dot H And Loconet dot H After the libraries are loaded, an edit to the Loconet library must be performed. Using Notepad, or other editor, navigate to Arduino backslash libraries backslash Loconet master backslash utility backslash ln underscore config dot H and uncomment the lines for inverted transmit and receive signals. Then save the file. Now we can load the loco net accessory controller sketch into the Arduino. Check the I2C address of your LCD display and edit the program if it is different. If everything is working and a display is shown on the LCD, we can now connect the loco net cable. Enter a turnout number and either asterisk or hashtag. If the turnout is controlled by LocoNet, you should see the turnout switch states. Well, that's all there is to it. If you like what you've seen, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time with some more cool content.